the next video will show you how to that's not what I wanted how to Once you have exported your file from Onshape, this will show you how to load it into the printer. Now I am doing this on my MacBook and I don't currently have the printer connected. So it's going to give me an error message. If you were connected to the printer, uh, it would not give you that error message. So my first thing to do is click on this down ar uh, arrow in the bottom in the top left hand corner and this is how I import a file and I'm going to find a file in documents called this is Keyless Thor's Hammer. Let's go to recents. It's probably there. Oh, it's not there. There it is. So I click on this and I click open. It looks a little different on a MacBook, maybe. Now it's giving me this object is too small. See how tiny it is? Because it thinks it's millimeters. And I'm going to change it to import in inches. And say... Yes, see my Thor's hammer is too big to fit on my printer. So I'm going to say um, auto resize. So it made it tinier than what I had and that's okay. You, you have these buttons that have options for things that you can do with your Printer, you can say which side you want it on. I think that I am going to use this one and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees onto the head. Okay, so that was the wrong direction. So I'm going to say 270 degrees. So it's sitting on the head. So I, and the reason I did that is so that I use the least amount of support material. If I had laid it on its side like it was originally, then it would have had to have support material all the way along under the handle. So I don't want to do that. I do not want to use that support material. For one thing, it gives a rougher surface and it uses more material. So I've set it on its end so that it will print this and then it will go up the handle. I am next going to go to this button. I'm not going to change my units of measure or anything, but every time you need to print, you need to click on this button that's called land. And that makes sure that the bottom of your object is on the same plane as the printer. If I put my object floating up here in the air, what will it do? It will make spaghetti. It will not be printing here and it will just be throwing filament everywhere, which wastes filament and does not print. So that is how to load an object into the XYZ software. To print, if I had a printer set up, see I can save it. I don't want to save it. I want to print it, but it's not giving me that op option right now because I don't have the printer hooked up because I'm on my MacBook. I could not film this on the desktop that's hooked to the printers because it, that desktop does not have a, a, a camera or a microphone. So you'd click here to print.